And every week we take you around the college and high school recruiting scene here in the great state of Arizona. Jordan Ham, the master of recruiting here in the state. He joins us now with the latest news and notes. Oklahoma, top of the list. They are invading the state. Yeah, and there is a ton of talent heading to Oklahoma this weekend. Keely Ringo, Lathan Ransom, Jacoby Covington, three of the top defensive backs in the entire nation. You get one of them, that's a great get. You get two of them, that is a coup. You get three of them. You could transform your entire secondary in the coming years in college football, and all three of them will be at Oklahoma's spring game. Uh, a ton of talent that will be there, and I caught up with Jacoby Covington at Zero Dark Thursday, Saguaro's workouts in the spring and he previewed what this visit could mean. So to see the new defense, because I'm going to the spring game, I just want to see what that new defense is about, like, because Grinch is for real. I went two days, like the second day, I went to go just talk to the coaches, get a feel from them, and just Coach Grinch earned my trust, and, like, I think he's going to really change up the program next year. Okay. Coach Manny, I like what he's doing out there. The energy that has that speed D. So, Jordan, tell me about Bruno Fina. This is a name I've heard about for a while, now coming to the forefront. Yeah, and we had heard the past couple of months that he could be an up-and-coming recruit, an under-the-radar guy. He is a senior offensive lineman for South Point Catholic, and you know that program produces the offensive lineman. We saw a couple classes ago with Mateo Mele. You have Jonah Miller along that line as well. Dennis Benet can get talent along the offensive line to the next level. Fina picks up a huge first FB offer USC he also visited UCLA this weekend but quite the offer there for the Sal Point Catholic offensive lineman so let's stick with the offensive line because I've heard Cade Bennett's name quite a bit in the roundup what's the latest on Cade Bennett over at Notre Dame prep Cade Bennett he went to Boise State this past week he has a ton of visits lined up as well but he was very impressed with the Broncos up at Boise he wasn't really sure what to expect but he loved the culture he loved the weightlifting program that they had and they really put a good impression on him he said he's scheduling Purdue visits uh, Washington State Iowa State and UNLV during April so going to be a very busy month for him he also picked Picked up an offer from Oklahoma State. So one of the top recruited interior linemen here in the state, definitely picking up some momentum here. Heard A.J. Locks left Castile. He heads over to Higley. U of A looks at him. Tell me about that. Yeah, I think that this is, uh, you know, another just seeing what Higley has become uh, sort of a destination. You look at what Ty Robinson, uh, how he was able to go to Nebraska. Uh, this past class, Jason Harris, one of the top recruited uh, players here in the state, also uh, at Higley. I feel like Eddie Zuby's program starting to become a destination for some of those guys that want to get recruited and locks. A guy that was a staple along that offensive line for Castile. He joins Brant Goodwin as a Another top returner that has since moved from Castile, but a U of A visit checking out the Pac-12 program. They're definitely taking a look at him um, and getting a closer look as we approach the spring evaluation period. Spring evaluation period starts next week. There will be a lot on that front. So let's switch over to Nebraska. They've rolled through this last week handing out offers right and left. Yeah, and it starts with the Chandler linebackers. It seems like we talk about them a ton. Tate Romney, Malik Reed, they both pick up offers from Nebraska. Cornhuskers are trying to use that momentum that they had from this last class to pick up a couple of seasoned vets on the defensive side of the ball. And Tate Romney and Malik Reed definitely fit that bill. And then Reagan Terry, he picked up a Nebraska offer, also Kansas State. I talked to him this weekend, the defensive end out of Florence, and he was talking about setting up visits. He thinks that he's going to cut his list here uh, depending on how spring ball goes but he is hearing from a ton of coaches but wants to narrow that list a bit uh, that picks up two really big power five offers here in the past week and to put a bow on the lineman let's head over to Brophy Jason Jewell has one of his guys blowing up yeah Andrew Millick picked up an offer from UNLV this is a guy uh, that has already received some college interest Colorado NAU Boise State has already offered UNLV follow suit they've recruited the Valley well and a Little birdie over at Brophy told me that they expect him to really blow up in spring evaluation period when colleges are able to go check him out in person. So expect to hear his name throughout the spring.
and that will be next week. I think Chubba Purdy, Jordan, is in that same boat. He visited Colorado this last weekend. Arizona State still has four quarterbacks on their roster. They have yet to offer a 2020. Do not be surprised if Chubba Purdy in Arizona State, if he throws for them in the next week, and do not be surprised if ASU says, we're going to make you an offer even though they have a crowded quarterback room. That's our recruiting roundup. For this week, check out all of our recruiting content with Jordan at sports360az.com.